going to show you how I pour a sea song painting. So it's going to involve working with the Pebio paints, the Pebio liquid oil paints. This one is a V-Trail paint, which is a transparent sort of um, stained glass effect. And then we're going to be working with a prism paint, which gives a beautiful um, sort of cellular honeycomb effect. And moon paint that's going to just tie it all together. I'm then going to throw some of these resin bubbles in just to make it look a little more like an underwater scene. So to begin, I like to put a little bit of what's called lightning medium from V-Trail on my surface and then throw some of the turquoise, in this case V-Trail, on over top of it. And I'm going to create a base or background. Oh, and in the background here, I have some acrylic paint. I like Pebio's Dyna paints um, because they're all shimmery and shiny, and I love that. So I start out with some of that in the background so that I'll have some shimmer throw, show through. And then you can see here I'm just using a palette knife and moving the Betrayal paint around. I want it a little bit thinner. Can you see how dark it is? If you want it to be lighter, you just add more of the lightning medium. You can also use a brush for this if you like. I just find usually it's faster for me to use a palette knife. Plus, I don't want nice strokes. I want lots of variation. I'm not always getting all the way up to the edges. That's just my style. Of course, if you wanted to use a brush and cover the whole thing evenly, you could do that too. I like my paintings to look very organic. And you're going to see in a few minutes, so I'm going to be pouring some of the other fantasy paints over it and they're going to start to react. So what you see here is not going to stay, it's going to get all covered up with some beautiful special effects liquid oil paints or Pebio. I have my surface somewhat covered with the V-Trail and the V-Trail is still wet. I'm not going to let the V-Trail dry. I'm going to keep it wet. And I'm going to take a popsicle stick or these are stirrers that I found in Michael's and they're fabulous. And this is some more V-Trail that has an interesting um, beautiful color to it. The color is called Ocean Blue, and I love it. So I'm just going to mix it up because you want to be sure that the oil inside is all mixed in with the color. And then I'm just going to randomly pour some of it on here. Look at that color. I love it. As you finish with each color, my recommendation is you put the lid back on because otherwise um, some of the solvent that's in this paint that keeps the oil liquid can smell and so I like to be sure that I cover it so that that smell is kept to a minimum. It's best to use it in a well ventilated area. This is one of my other favorite colors. It's a V-Trail Cobalt Blue. Oh my gosh, it's so ocean blue. It's absolutely beautiful. And when we begin to mix it in with the other colors, you'll see how that's going to really pop. You can wipe off your sticks in between and just go ahead and use the same sticks for each one of the bottles. So this is the Prism Turquoise. 
um, using here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a lot of oil in there, so I need to get that pigment color all mixed in. There's mica in these fantasy paints. This is the fantasy prism. And so in order for it to do its special effects, you need to get that mica up from the bottom. So here we go. We're just gonna, oh look how gorgeous that is. This is the turquoise color of prism. Woo! How fun is that? Now it's gonna make a special effect color here really soon. You're gonna see. It's so fun. It takes about 10-15 minutes for the prism effect to show. Another color that I have here, prism, that I adore is called eggshell white. So I'm gonna again mix that up because there's some oil in there that separates from the mica and the pigment. <gasps> Look at that! It's beautiful. Pour some of this. Look at the pearl color. It's called eggshell white, but ooh, it so reminds me of pearls. And not only are diamonds a girl's best friend, but I think pearls are too. Right, girls? Next, I'm going to go into a beautiful blue purple color called ash blue in the prism. So this one you can see is halfway done. Um, you're going to notice in your some of your colors as you mix them of the fantasy paints. It's going to say fantasy on it and it's going to be the prism or the moon. You're going to notice that uh, certain colors clump more, especially the reds and silvers clump more. This one has a little bit of silver in it so you're going to see that it's as you mix it, there's more mica stuck to the bottom. So that just means you have to work it. You bring it off to the side like this. You work it, work it, work it. Okay, let's add some of this whew, beautiful ash blue. Now, it helps if you work on a leveled surface, you're going to find, because otherwise um, everything is going to want to move around and slip slide if you're not on a level surface. So I work horizontally and on a level surface. Now this right now just looks like a mishmash, but you're going to watch the magic happen in just a moment. The prism is just beginning to work and come into creating little cells, but and especially in an area like this and an area over here like this. I just love that. Now we're going to really punch up and accelerate that movement by throwing in some moon. The moon is a special effect paint in the fantasy line from Pebio, and the effect happens faster than the prism effect. So when you mix some of the moon in with the prism, oh my gosh, things just happen like crazy. So here we go. Oh, look how gorgeous. So on the surface, initially, it looks the same as the last one that we poured, which was the moon pearl. I'm sorry, the prism pearl. And this is moon pearl. So watch what happens, though. In just a moment, you're going to see things start to move very quickly because the moon moves very fast. Now I'm simply going to take my palette knife and I'm going to start working these colors together. Don't be afraid. They'll start to work magic. Take your palette knife or a popsicle stick and start bringing the colors together. Some of that turquoise color from underneath will begin to mix in with it as well. It'll bubble up from the bottom. It's what I like to call percolate. You can start to see the percolation happening here already. Oh my gosh, this is fabulous. I paint the background so that way I can be organic and I don't have to worry about catching every single spot of my underpainting because they'll be paint there. So it's okay if the surface paint doesn't go all the way to the edges. Wow. 
Wow. I just adore the liquid effect of these paints. Now I can see in this area a lot more of the dark blue and over here is more of the light blue. So I'm going to add a little bit of dark blue over in here. Remember that? The V-Trail Cobalt Blue. And I'm simply going to pour some of it on there. Like that. And then mix it in. And we'll start to see it do its magic in just a minute. Now I have resin bubbles that I've made. I simply took Pebio's glazing resin and poured it on a silicone sheet so it created a bubble-like effect. And I'm going to take these now that the painting is beginning to um, percolate, bubble up in certain areas. I just love it. So I'm going to take this bubble and I'm just going to drop it in here. And push it in a little bit. I have two more bubbles. I just love the underwater effect this gives. There's another one. I'm going to pop that in there. And another one I'm going to pop in up here somewhere. As the liquid oil paint dries, it will hold those resin bubbles in place. Ah, I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now, right now, this painting has a certain um, all-overness of pattern. I want to bring something in that is going to pop right out at us instead of just having everything being... Um, almost a solid imagery in the background. So I like to take some of the one of the other colors. My preference is either using the ceramic paint, which is also a very thick liquid oil paint from Pebio, or in this case it's the V-Trail paint. And I either take it on a stick like this and move it around on the surface. This is how I get those little what look like um, protozoa almost with a head and a little tail on them. And you can even take it right out of the jar like this. And that will give me an interesting design on the surface. Now, over the course of this percolating, some of this design can end up going into, falling into the background. And I like to put a little bit of this color over top of my resin also to bring it into the whole painting. Oh, how fun is that? You get your aggressions out by throwing the paint. Now I'm going to add a little surprise here. I have Moon and Emerald. So I'm going to take a stick, again I'm going to mix that puppy up, and then I'm just going to use my stick to create some more line imagery on here. Oh, it's just beautiful. The colors are fabulous. I'm going to bring the camera closer so you can see the special effects of the paints. Especially this moon, when it gets on top of the liquid oil paints, it starts to really move. So here we go. We're going to go in for a closer look. Can you see the special effect of the paints there? Wow. So don't be afraid, just take these liquid paints, pour them on a surface, use a palette knife, mix them around, let them do their thing. Get a feel for what colors you like the best. 
and you'll see as you use them that different colors work better together and have fun. There you go. There's my latest sea song painting. It's going to take a while to percolate and once it's done percolating a little bit I'm going to add some vitriol glitter medium. Woo One of my best friends. And that'll get some sparkle into the painting. I also like to throw in mica chips sometimes to give that extra pop as well. Thanks for watching.